Spottam Gotham has been a magnet for bad news since his career kicked off in 2020. Reports reaching media outlets claim the rapper was just arrested on multiple charges in Miami. From aggravated assault to possession of dangerous firearms, the 21-year-old rapper can't seem to stay away from trouble for too long. Things aren't looking good for the beatbox rapper as he faces some serious charges that might eventually keep him in jail for good. Keep watching till the end of this video to see why Spottam got him was really arrested. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. Why Spottam Gotham was really arrested. Spottam Gotham is about to get the premium treatment from law enforcement after getting hit with multiple charges after a wild day in Miami. It all started when the rapper fled after citing officers from the Miami-Dade Police Department during a traffic stop. The officers were responding to a spike in violent crimes around Northeast 164th Street and Northeast 6th Avenue and took chase after spotting the rapper's red-tinted Corvette. Spottam Gotham knew that getting caught wasn't an option, and he accelerated off as soon as the cops began their approach, resulting in a frantic, high-speed chase that lasted for quite some time. While trying to escape the authorities, Spottam Gotham endangered the lives of pedestrians as he swerved between lanes and ignored traffic signals. The blatant disregard for pedestrians and other drivers was enough to earn him a few charges, but the rapper lost control of his car and collided with another vehicle nearby. After the collision, his car got totaled, and instead of giving up, the rapper continued his daring escape on foot. Spottam Gotham found his way into a nearby shed. He tried to avoid the inevitable by taking shelter there, but it didn't take long for a team of police officers to form a perimeter around the building. After they had the place on lockdown, they barged in and apprehended the rapper in no time. And after securing Spottam Gotham, the cops did a full search of his vehicle, and they found a black Glock 23 with a green rubber grip, modified with an illegal fully automatic Glock sear. They also found an extended 40 caliber gun magazine containing 19 rounds of ammo on the right side of the driver's seat. The rapper didn't have a concealed weapons permit, and even if he did, he is a convicted felon, complicating his situation. Further investigation revealed that the rapper's driver's license was suspended. According to the charge sheet, the 21-year-old is looking at a total of 10 or more charges, ranging from firearms possession to burgling an unoccupied building. Spottam Gotham is facing up to 30 years in prison if things don't go his way. Spottam Gotham's Dark Criminal History Spottam Gotham's current dilemma might sound bad, but this isn't his first time on the wrong side of the law. In 2022, the rapper got arrested after trying to ditch the cops on a jet ski. Law enforcement officials caught him speeding and doing dangerous turns in a restricted speed zone near anchored boats. They tried to hail the rapper for a traffic stop, but he took off upon sighting the cops, leading to a high-speed chase. Spottam Gotham was caught not long after, and the rapper was charged with reckless operation of a boat and fleeing the police. At the time of his arrest, he was out on bond for a case involving charges of aggravated assault and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. The incident occurred in July 2021 when the rapper assaulted a parking attendant in Miami Beach. Spottam Gotham allegedly got into an argument with the parking attendant at the Miami Marriott Hotel over an $80 fee. At the garage, he wasn't in the mood to exchange words with the man and allegedly pointed a gun with a laser at the employee from the back seat. After the parking attendant reported his ordeal to the authorities, Spottam Gotham was soon apprehended by the U.S. Federal Marshals, who found the rapper chilling with an AK-47. He was charged with aggravated assault with a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and accessory after the fact. Reports say his bond was set at $18,500. Despite being hit with aggravated assault and firearm possession charges, the rapper got shot a few months after the incident. The shooting took place on the Miami Interstate 95 freeway while the rapper was driving his Dodge Charger. A group of unknown assailants opened fire on the car, 
Spot him, got him, suffered a gunshot wound to his hip, and a passenger who was in the back seat got shot in both legs. Spottom Gotham's earlier scuffle with the law dates back to 2017, when he was just 16 years old, in a case that saw the rapper and his homie Chadrick Daniels getting charged with Grand Theft Auto. It's safe to say Spottom Gotham is a repeat offender that isn't about to change his ways. But even more, his life got thrown upside down when he got accused of snitching to the cops. Spottom Gotham's Snitching Allegations when you're in the rap game, the last thing you want to be called is a snitch. And Spottom Gotham was once called out for ratting out fellow rapper YNR Mookie. It all started in April 2020, when Spottom Gotham and YNR Mookie got thrown in jail for gang related crimes. After the incident, Spottom Gotham miraculously walked out of jail while Mookie ate the firearm possession charge. Not long after Spottom Gotham got freed, an alleged police report of the event leaked online and showed that he gave the cops info about Mookie. Getting caught snitching on your fellow gang members is a fate worse than death for a street rapper, and it was the last thing Spottom Gotham needed. Once the report went viral on social media, it wasn't hard to believe he stabbed his friend in the back just to gain his freedom. When the snitch allegation started gaining traction, the rapper called into Miami's 99 Jams radio station to try to address the matter. Nah, me and Mookie, we talk, he explained. That's some old f I saw it on the internet. I guess the police put the allegations, but me and Mookie, we cool. That's my brother. That f there, I don't know how it got on the internet. Spottom got him continued. Police put that out. We both went to jail 21 days and got out. It was nothing after that. I never heard about it again. It's just now coming out. But cinematic music group artist Young Dean Ace wasn't convinced by the rapper's take on the situation. Spottom got him told on his homeboys, Young Dean Ace said. I had homeboys telling on me. I never told on nobody. I know how that feel, for real. Is wrong with you, boy? Don't try me. Die behind this. You tripping. When street dudes turn famous, it's hard to learn control of the money, the women, and the attention. Spottom Gotham is no exception, and his brief stint in the limelight has been riddled with controversy after another. The current charges against the rapper are no joke, and he's looking at serious jail time if he doesn't turn things around. So what do you think about the multiple charges Spottom Gotham has been wrapped up in? Will he come out of the arrest unscathed, or will he be cooling off for a long time in jail? That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.